guys, welcome to episode 15 of Bucket for Beginners. In this episode, I'm going to go over how to use array lists. Now, an array list is just a type of list, um, and you're going to use these a lot. It's basically an array that you can add stuff to, and as you add stuff, it gets bigger, and as you remove stuff, it gets smaller. So it's very simple. So we're going to make a we're going to make an array list. And now an array list has what's called a generic data type, which means you put this in the um, in between the less than or equal to signs. And what this means is you're telling it what kind of of class you want to store inside of it. So for this example, we're going to use strings. So we're going to store strings inside of it, and we're going to call this um, strings, I guess, or st string array list look at that and we're gonna make a new array list of strings and this is still a method so we have to put the two method brackets and then close it out we're gonna import array list and that's it just like that now we're gonna make a few strings we'll do um, string s1 is equal to hello string s2 is equal to chicken s3 is equal to Bob then we're gonna get the string array list we're going to access the add method. Notice how when you add, it's going to take a string, because that's what you specified that the, the variable type is. It's going to return a boolean, true or false, whether or not it could add it or not. Um, that, that's the same thing as like our on command method and all that. So we're going to add s1. Oops. We're going to add s2. And we're going to add S3. So the string array list, I mean, it's they're they're great. I, I use array lists all the time um, because they grow and shrink as you add stuff and remove stuff to them. So with it, you can. Um, we're going to make this a little bit. We're going to make this string al. There's a lot to type. It's something I want to access it. Oh, we don't have a change to option, darn it. Making my life difficult and stuff. So we can do string array list. You can um, you can add it it accesses by indexes just like the array. But you do get you can get the item that's at any index so you can get the item that's at zero so in, in our case zero would be hello um, one would be chicken two would be Bob so you can get things you can remove you can either remove something at the certain index you can remove the item that's at the index of five or you can remove an actual object which in our case is a string you can remove any object out of it um, you can also remove a whole collection of objects if you wanted to. What else is there? You can get the size of it, which is how many things are inside. You can, um, I think you can turn it to a, to, a, um, to an array. You can turn this into an array of, of whatever you um, have inside of it. So for example, if we turn this into an array of strings, we would have to make a. Oh, this was a whole. This is a complicated thing. Shit. How do. I think it was a new. Like that. How do they do this? There's an array initializer. I don't want to go into it in detail here. Oh wait, 
That's how you did it, yep. So, when you turn this into an array, you have to tell it how big you want it to be. So, like, string s array is equal to, you're going to, oops, we want an array. The string array list dot to array, and then you're going to, you're going to create a new string array out of it. It's kind of weird, but that's how that's how it works. This is useful because there are certain methods in Bucket which require an array, not an array list. So it's helpful to know how to set those up and use those. So, and I mean that is about it. You can you can iterate through an array list in in a for loop, like string s, and then you can iterate through string array list, and it'll go through this. Um, trying to think of other ways that I would use it. Um, I can't think of any other ones. You can uh, you can make an array list of players. You could because this is a class that you pass and you pass a class into it, so you could do an array list of players. Um, you can do an array list of whatever you want. So they are very useful, and I'm sure you're going to be using them in your code. Especially uh, array lists and hash maps, you're going to be using, I guarantee. So, um, that is about it. If you have any questions on this, feel free to add me on Skype and uh, or post a comment, either or. Um, if you have a, a significant question that I could possibly make a video out of, I would be glad to do that. Or if you have any other ideas for future videos, I know in the last video I went up to like 29 or something that I have planned. But um, but yeah, if you have any other ones, I'd be happy to hear them because I am open to, to new ideas. So that is it for Ray List. Hopefully that helped you guys out. Um, like I said, any questions, feel free to ask. And thank you for watching, and stay tuned.